Hey guys, it's Jess Snipper and welcome back to my channel for day two of these consecutive uploads. I am back with my bullet journal again to do February's plan with me. If you're a little bit confused as to what's going on, basically I missed my January and February uploads for my plan with me because all sorts has been going on, mental health issues, family crises, etc. But I won't go into that. So yesterday I uploaded my January plan with me, which if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description, top line of the description and also in the iCards. So you can go and check that out as well as my 2020 setup will be in the description as well. For today, I am gonna be setting up or showing you my setup for February, which I was actually really pleased with. I went with a very different theme to something I've done in the past, I was, fully into like the florals, peonies, sketches, all that sort of stuff. So without further ado, let's get planning. Okay, so starting out my February plan with me, I'm just gonna do a really quick flip through of my January spreads. If you haven't seen this already, then you can go and check out the iCard. Obviously I haven't shown you how I filled up my expenses tracker because I don't want people seeing what I've spent where but you can see how little I use my dissertation tracker and how little I, I read in January as well but yeah you can see why I didn't like some of these spreads they just really didn't gel with me so my weekly spreads I was really into and my interview spread for Stonehenge I loved but I also did this little collage for my favourite character from singing in the rain Lena Lamont and then this was the last setup that I hadn't actually done for January at this point but let's move on to my February setup for this I went with peonies and I wasn't really sure how I was going to color in the peony and it looks better on camera than it did in person but I want I didn't know whether I wanted to keep it black and white or whether I was going to add the pinks in so I went in with all of my different sizes of Hobbycraft Fine Liner, a 05, 03 and 0 0.05 and then I went around it with a grey Zebra Mild Liner, a dark pink Tombow dual brush pen, I used the pen nib side, not the brush side, and then I used this nice slightly pinky red Zebra Mild Liner as well to do these off-kilter frames around it and then I used my Faber-Castell brush pen to write February and I like the Feb, not the Rueri, if that makes sense, on the title, it just looks a little bit squished. But then I went in with this really light Tombow pink and this slightly darker pink. I will link the codes and everything as that I use as always in the description below, but because peonies are quite multi-toned I tried to emulate that and then tried to blend and it just I don't know I don't know petals I'm fine with coloring in but ones that are like a whole flower I find a little bit more difficult I'm not an artist so but then I did away with like a big month at a glance and I tried to do the vertical semi-traditional bullet journal setup so I've got like a little mini month at a glance at the top and this is my personal month at a glance, basically. So I put all like social, uh, meeting up for friends, deadlines, all that sort of stuff. And then on the next side of that Dutch door, this is a Dutch door that I've set up, I forgot to mention that, I had my social media tracker, which I didn't use at all, my social media month at a glance, at all. And then I lost footage again, so you didn't see me set up all these little other modules or write that quote but that's beside the point but then I'm on to my budget spread so this is my expenses and I'm using the Tombow Food No Suke hard tip brush pen I really got to grips with it during this month during February and I loved using it I used my Pigma Micron black fine liners as well as my Hobbycraft fine liners throughout this but my budget tracker was really different in February so I had this top table was my bills so tracking when my bills went out and then I split up my expenses between food and drink pet supplies and miscellaneous and it actually was really interesting seeing exactly where things go for me because I do tend to spend a lot when I'm out and about on food so that was really quite interesting and also I was still working at Morrison's at this point I was working early morning shifts so I was finishing at um, 9 a.m so yeah it, I was always buying breakfast and stuff. 
but then I just went in with those same Tombos to highlight the different, um, the titles and everything on those tables, as well as writing fixed expenses with my darker Tombow, and using my Muji 0.38 gel pen. I love this pen so much. It's so diddy and so small. It's so good for writing on tables like this. So I used that to write in the titles of the tables and the titles for the columns. And then I drew this peony down in the bottom right hand corner. And I like how this one turned out because I used the pinks, but I also used my grey uh, zebra mild liner as well on the leaves I was like did I want to put green in there and I was like no I'm gonna make the pink the star of the show so I went in with a couple of greys so I went in with a grey zebra mild liner and some grey Crayola super tips but first of all I'm outlining everything with my Pigma Micron and my Hobbycraft fine liners these Hobbycraft fine liners were a freaking steal I think I got them I got like 10 12 pens for less than like a fiver so if you're looking for some really good fine liners that don't flatten very easily because that's what i find with fine liners they can flatten really easily and even my pigma microns have um honestly these hobbycraft fine liners are really worth it for the little amount that you pay for them compared to the longevity that i've had out of them it's so worth it um but then i'm going in like i said with my grey Crayola super tips and my grey zebra mild liner to do kind of like this dandelion and then the peony leaves coming off of it and just general foliage just adding the little details to the leaves and I adore that peony so so much but because it kind of bled through so much and the tracing had already shadowed through I just thought I'll stick it I'll just um go with it and do like a reversed mirror image of the same peony on the next page because I had a nice gap there anyway um and then this is my habit tracker so I tracked a lot of habits actually I've started tracking a lot more things again which I'm cool with and these are all little mini months at a glances so I've got like awake by a certain time in bed by a certain time whether I've eaten breakfast done my skincare I was doing TikToks actually I was trying to do TikTok diaries at this point I've given up on that but still follow me on TikTok if you want if you want um a little bit more content from me <laughs> but then I just did the same with the peony on this side and again I love how that turned out and then the next spread is my mood and sleep tracker now I have never done a spread like this before because I could never get the circle right but I did kind of like a mood and sleep wheel I really need to get a circle template because I drew this with a compass and it's really difficult to do to go over the lines freehand afterwards <laughs> but yeah I just set this up with 29 sections in it with different colors varying from a light pink to a dark grey, I think even a black at some point, for being happy, productive, or meh, or depressed, anxious uh, for my moods, and for however many hours I have slept. And it's really interesting to see how my mood corresponds to my sleep, actually. Um, I'm a I generally will be a little bit lower when I've slept longer when I've overslept so yeah it's it is quite interesting I don't do sleep trackers all that much anymore but when I do it's quite interesting to see but it is difficult for me to track because obviously I can't tell exactly how long I've slept because I don't actually have an app or anything that can track that but I just drew some more falling petals around it because I think that's really quite cute and yeah this is how my mood and sleep tracker turned out it didn't look that pretty when I finished it because there was a lot more grey actually than I would have wanted but yeah I don't know why it didn't turn out as neat as I was expecting it to but hey ho I might try this layout again because it was something different and it was something fun to try I might not keep up doing a sleep tracker but I definitely will try these circular trackers again because they are good fun they they're a headache to set up but they were good fun then I've got my meds and back pain tracker again I smushed it onto one spread this time 
and I decided to do these leaves based on like the peony leaves that I was seeing a lot in sketches that I used for reference. So I used an art and graphic dual brush pen to do the grey, the light grey, and then my Crayola Super Tip to outline the leaves. But like I say, I smushed my meds and back pain tracker into one in February because I didn't really need all that space. So I had all of my medication down the left side of the spread and then my two big calendars to track my pain management, what management I was using, as well as the level of pain that I was experiencing. And I liked that spread because it was only the little splashes of color with the pink for the headings and everything else was gray and black and white. And I think that was actually really quite stunning. Um, again, this didn't really work out that well because I think I forgot to use it. I didn't really experience that much pain because I was on, I was doing Pilates and I was managing my pain by this point quite well. So I just stopped using it. And also by the 20th, I had left Morrison's. So um, that didn't really impact me that much. And I also wasn't sitting at my desk all day, every day, writing my dissertation and hurting my back that way. So that was also a good thing. And then I had a single page brain dump because I didn't really use that much space in January's. And to be fair, in February, I literally wrote like one or two things down on here. I didn't really use it that much. But yeah, I just then took my Tombow and outlined the page because I think that's quite a nice look sometimes. And then I moved on to my first weekly spread, which was kind of like a rolling weekly. So I only used what space I needed. I wrote down each day as the day arrived and I had a little event sidebar on the left there and I just drew these little, this little bunch of flowers that are kind of like peony shaped. And yeah, just kept the color quite minimal with this. Again, I like how this one turned out because I didn't have a lot of tasks that I really needed to do that week because the main thing was handing my dissertation in on that Monday. So yeah, it kind of was more a bit of like a memory capture spread in the end. But I'm going to do a flip through of my 2019 journals at some point. So by the end of this year, I will be doing a flip through of my 2020 journal or journals. So you will be able to see how all of these weekly spreads ended up being used, which will be quite interesting. But yeah, I'm just using all of the supplies that I've been using throughout the setup. And I'm just adding in these little details that I really, I really, really enjoyed this theme just drawing flowers because I will look at say a peony and be just like oh my god that's so complicated but I'll actually surprise myself by how I'm able to draw flowers now especially those ones in the top left I can draw those really really quickly but if it's a full-size sketch it takes me a lot longer to be able to do it I did a border around the spread which I kind of regret doing it through the weekly events sidebar but oh well and then we've come to the final flip through so this is the final th flip through of my February setup I really really enjoyed setting this one up I think it even though it's not minimal in the fact that there's so much drawing involved that minimal color palette I thought was really striking so I'm really pleased with how that turned out and yeah back to back to me And there we have it, that concludes my February 2020 plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you like doing florals in your bullet journal, what florals have you done? It might give me a bit of inspiration because I usually just tend to stick to peonies or I tend to get really overwhelmed and just go, <laughs> no, I ain't drawing anything, nope. Um, <laughs> so let me know uh, down in the comments below, any ideas for future themes, any video requests that you have down in the description. I'm gonna try and upload a bit more regularly from now on because I realize I miss doing this and now I don't have university, I can. So yes, I will see you tomorrow for the final of my consecutive uploads when we do my March plan with me and I will see you then. Bye guys.